Look what he could have done. But I could call my father, speak to him, and he straightway sent me twelve legions of angels. Well, one of them could destroy the world. So if my kingdom is this world, then my subject to fight. But my kingdom is up above. There you are. See, he could have done that. But he didn't. See. Though he could have done it, he never listened to Satan's proposition. Now, have you heard people say, if, if, if you believe it, there's a divine healer, if you're a divine healer, go get your divine healer. i got a man over here sick. I'd like to see him heal him. Is that the same devil? Amen. He's trying to proposition with you. Amen. He's trying to make you listen to him instead of God. Amen. But a real true servant of God will listen to see what Father says. For Amen. Amen. Like the little stats click baby. When they sent over here, Miss stats click said, Brother Branham, I called from Germany. There was the American army but one of their jet planes sitting out here at the field would fly me to Germany and back in a day. He was a chaplain. And the baby's laying dead and that little mother screaming. She said, listen, but I know I stood right there and seen that woman hold that dead baby in her arms and died that morning. And I see Brother Bram walk right out there and lay hands on that dead baby to come to life. She said, this is my baby, Brother Bram. Never been a death in their family, see. And this little thing took sick one morning and died that afternoon. Here was all of them standing around and giving prophecies and things the baby's going to raise up and all like that. I said, well, that's mighty nice, Sister Stackley, but let me see what Father said. Amen. And I went out to the woods and I prayed. Come back in. She done called two or three times before. Got back the next morning. Nothing. The doctor said, all right. So if, that, if you have faith like that, lady, we'll never let the baby leave the hospital. Let it lay right here. You stay right here with us. That's all right. Brother Stackley went and seen the Army and Major. And they said, sure. We will fly him over and bring him back. And there was a plane set and waiting to take me over that morning to bring me back that night to Germany, to Heidelberg, Germany, for the resurrection of this baby. I said, sure, God can do it, but let's see what he's will is. Yeah. Yeah, then I went out and prayed all night. Nothing happened. Come back the next morning. Nothing happened. And I started into the room. Just then I looked there and there stood that light hanging there in the door. Yeah. <laughs> I said, don't put your hand on that. Don't rebuke that. That's the hand of God. I got her on the phone. I said, Sister Stackleff, bury your baby. It's the hand of the Lord. It's God's will. Something had that baby down along the line. You leave it go right where God knows where it's at. You can go to it now. If it lives, you won't. You leave it out like that. That great Lutheran preacher in Germany wrote a letter and said, How I can appreciate what Brother Branham waiting for that clear cut decision of God before he said anything. That's it! Hold oh, to God's decision. No matter what others say, whatever it is, don't proposition Satan at all. If Satan says now, water baptism, name Father, son, that, he proposes you leave it alone. God said otherwise. He said, you're a good man. You don't have to be. You're a good woman. You don't have to. Do. Don't you proposition. If the word says something different, you stay with the word. Regardless of what it is. That's the example Jesus gave to you. And there's that major assault, see, that he made on him. Sister Statscliffe, you're not long ago that really had my heart whirling around. A little mother, she lost her baby, and the Lord was seen fit to take it away, and she'd call me, and she wanted to go fly me over to Germany, and the doctor was so kind to wait and let the baby lay there. The little fellow died suddenly, a sweet little plumpy girl. And Sister Stas Cliff had lost her mother, and she pretty well broke up. This baby certainly had got the best of her and she got on the phone long distance from Germany and wanted to fly over and I said Sister Stanscliff she confessed her faith that she believed that the Lord Jesus had sent me for the work in the last days and such a loyal testimony that no one could give and she meant it with all of her heart she had seen the Lord God do such things as that raise up the dead after they were dead but you see you really as much as I, how what a glory that would have been to God in Germany and everything. If I could have done it myself, I would have done it. But the first thing, we mustn't go until we know what we're going for. So I went out and prayed, and I think she stayed on the phone part of the time through the night. And the next day I come in, there was nothing. Again, Meadie said, my wife said, Sister Saskia called twice. Any word from the Lord yet? I said, not a thing. And I said, well, I went out and pray again. It's in the woods that night. Then, of course, the little baby had to be taken care of. And then just as I was coming in, the Lord Jesus, a vision struck, standing from me, and I heard his voice say, Don't rebuke that. That's the hand of the Lord. So I knew then that God, for some reason, had taken her baby to 
glory, and it was a, certainly against the will of the Lord for me to say anything contrary to it. And then I thought, well, that'll be a big letdown. But the one thing I did, I minded the Lord. I did what He told me. You know, not long ago, I got a letter from a minister over there, and he had made a statement by some more ministers. He said, the one, and he was, I think he might have been a German Lutheran. I'm not sure. But he said, there's one thing that I can admire about Brother Branham. When all the excitement is going on, he stayed steady till he got a clear-cut decision from God that he knowed what he was doing. And that's the only way you can do those things is first hear from the Lord. When he tells, if he told me tonight that to go up there and raise out of that cemetery President Kennedy, I'd invite the whole world to come watch it done. For I'd have, thus saith the Lord. See? Now, but how can I say, thus saith the Lord, until the Lord has said thus? See? See? Many times people get all excited and go under impressions and things like that and what the best of their mental can think. That ain't always true. Wait till he tells you and you know it. Then you've got it exactly. You don't have to guess about it. He's done told you. It's thus saith the Lord. Then he's told you and then you can go say what he said. Until then, you can go and do everything you can, do what you can yourself. But you can't be sure until God has said so. Then you're positive. On the tape of what time is it, sirs? Many of you's got the tape. See? I could speak for the chapters and anywhere else and say it's thus saith the Lord. I'll meet seven angels and it'll be known the country's over. See, and something's fixing to happen. For he told me there it was, just three months afterwards. See, and all these other things when you when you, the Lord has spoken, it, it's got to happen. That's the reason. That I know that His Word is perfect. No matter what people think about it, it's the Word of God. That's right. That's thus saith the Lord. Right? That's, and we know that that's true. Jesus is coming. When, I don't know. What form, how you come, I have an idea, but I, I don't know. It's wrote in here, He said, I, If I be taken up, you draw a man to Him, and He would come again. I know He's coming. Oh, I, I, that's positive. And it doesn't matter to me when it is. See, if it's tonight, or if it's next year, or if it's a thousand years from now, just so He comes, I got eternal life, I ain't going to be any older, I'm just going to be there when He comes, that's all. That's the, see, it doesn't matter to me when, how, which way He does it, just so I'm there. And He promised me that I would be there, and He has already given me eternal life. Because he said, he that can receive my words and believe on him that sent me has eternal life and shall not come to the judgment but pass from death to life. That's good enough for me. Right there, I, that's my absolute. <laughs> that's my absolute. He promised it. There's no way for it to ever fail. It just cannot fail. No more than God can fail. It's impossible for God to fail. That's one thing that God cannot do. Fail. He can't fail. Aren't you happy for that? Oh, my.